Here we go again. So put your mans in them. It's your mans, your boy Virgil. Come on, man. Come on. I see you out here in these streets. But let's be honest, we're not surprised. And these new allegations come in the form of Diet Prada yet again. In the form of a post that Off White sent out through Instagram. And the image featured a hoodie that displayed on a pyramid geometric shape that looks strikingly similar to a hoodie that Japanese brand, which coincidentally is happen, happens to be one of my favorite brands out here. I was actually going to talk about it one of these days, but seems a better time than any. Unreal Edge displayed. It's peculiar. Either Virgil is some kind of savant or he's Jesus. Or he just copied it, which is probably true. He probably just copied it. Now, I'm going to be fair. We don't know if it was Virgil that actually made this himself, but it does have the off-white branding, and it was a pattern-cutting contest at the off-white kind of facility, so it's, it's them. Now, Virgil has yet to issue a statement regarding the alleged copy, and why should he? I mean, why? I mean, this has happened numerous times already, and he's never been called out explicitly for him to apologize, for him to make a statement, so he's probably not going to do it. So, them's the breaks if you were waiting on that. But this is exactly what's wrong with fashion today. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody. Virgil certainly doesn't. And Virgil is an opportunist, a savvy business mind that could care less what people think about what he does. He's incredibly smart. Got to give him that. And he understands the prevailing truth in this for, in this current fashion climate. Skill means very little. It still means something, but clout means everything. Everything everything now diet prada was very careful in not stating that virgil stole the design them words be too harsh he simply should have given accreditation to the original designer that being and real age right although philip Lim was a little less cordial when dealing with virgil but that's another story altogether and just to be clear there is nothing wrong with being inspired by someone else especially in fashion it happens all the time uh, we're here in Japan, so take Masaki Homa, for example, of Mastermind. Most people don't know he mentored under Yoji Yamamoto, so that's why he designs mostly in black. Some people didn't know that. Or how Jun Takahashi of Undercover credits Rei Kabakubo for his biggest influence into actually entering in fashion. Heck, even Nigo, your boy, Mr. Bape himself, is named after Hiroshi Fujiwara because he looks like the man. As in number two, as in knee go, my dude, knee go. The point is, is that Virgil could be even more influential if he put us up on the new through his access. But he has displayed time and time again that he is not interested in that. He could simply say, yo, this is where we got our inspiration from. And we would kind of forgive him for it. We'd be like, yo, thank you for putting us up on something and I'm going to support you. I mean, he comes off as a nice dude. I don't have an issue with this character, although a lot of people can make the case that he's drinking a lot of his own Kool-Aid. I don't really judge him like that. And even if I, <laughs> and even I have to admit that I'm not sure if, J if Virgil is a good designer. And now I'm questioning it even more because the question is what else has he what else hasn't he designed i mean i'm not always impressed with off-white it's nothing i've never seen before in fact if you look at unreal age the brand that he allegedly copied i would say that it's stronger and eerily looks something like what off-white would do so is he getting his designs from this particular brand who knows in fact a lot of japanese brands have been going have been doing what off-white has been doing for years and there are hundreds, if not thousands, of highly skilled Japanese designers that could run circles around off-white. But you don't see them getting job offers for LV. Why? Because who do they know? They don't know nobody. They're not, they not rubbing shoulders with Kanye West. It's not happening. So what I'm getting at is that we got to stop giving dude a pass simply because he lives a lifestyle that so many of us want to live. He's a celebrity designer. It's enticing, I know, but we gotta call a spade a spade. Virgil rips designs quite a bit and is silent when he's called out on it. And since the news cycle is blazingly fast these days, he gets away with it. And we still hear the drums of Virgil's a genius. He's a genius, oh my God, Virgil. He's so great, oh, crying. 
because now we have to ask the question what else has he taken like i said before i mean i've been following dude and he has he has taken a lot or at least that's that's the allegation and other designers who work incredibly hard to reach the upper echelon upper echelon of fashion only are only being outmaneuvered by this dude because he has famous friends Trust me, there are thousands of incredibly talented designers out there and you'll never hear of them because they don't get the time of day because they don't know somebody. And that's life. Not everybody's going to make it. I understand that. But imagine if you are a designer. Imagine if you are a designer of a particular piece. It's your it's your masterpiece, so to speak. And then you see one day that it's displayed by someone like Virgil Abloh who pimps it out like it's his without giving you credit. How would you feel? That's a deep knife, bro. Stabbing you, stabbing you. Now, I don't even know what to think about. I mean, this is part of the reason why I came to Japan personally, to discover things I, I couldn't find elsewhere. I mean, we got Sugarlism, Maria Air, Dokumar, Broke City, Discovery, Iroquois, Ben Joy, W. Ford, Lab Musician, everything that I've seen here and everything that I haven't seen here, I'm waiting to discover because I was tired of seeing the same thing over and over and over again in the West. Because we only pay attention, not all of us, but we only pay attention when somebody famous talks about it. And now we're just paying attention to their brands. And now with the success of individuals like Virgil, it's easy for them to look at something from Japan, throw it out there because hundreds of Japanese designers will never be recognized like Virgil Abloh. He'll put it out and voila, everybody thinks it's his. And this is not just Japan, this is Europe too. I can babble about it all day. I could, but it's not gonna change anything. It's not. This is where we are in fashion, where clout, and who you know is more important. That That's what we live in. It's a brave new world and we better get used to it and we better be ready to live in it because if we're not, we're gonna be left behind. But somebody has to stand up and really defend the designers. And if we can't do it at the casual, listen, this is my background. This is what I've done my entire life. Branding, marketing, not my, well, my career is in branding and marketing, but I've been designing, been illustrating my entire life. And to see somebody get their their work kind of pilfered and not accredited is you gotta stand up to that. I mean, don't you? Don't don't you? Come on, man. We gotta call out Virgil on this, man. You can't always just be behind dude just because he's successful. All right? Respect the hustle. He's made it. I respect that hustle, but come on. Get, call him out when he does something like this. The allegations, but it's looking really, really, really bad. And it ain't cool. Anyway, it's not on me. As always, it's always about the discussion here at The Casual. So let me know what you think about these latest allegations surrounding your boy Virgil Abloh in the comments. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy and keep it casual. This is the synopsis, and I'll see you guys in a minute. You know, shaku. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what your thoughts are on this topic in the comments. Give a thumbs up if you like this video, but most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy, and keep it casual. You can even check out more videos. And you can support us on Patreon or follow our social media networks. That's always cool. You can do that. We didn't want to say it, but I said it anyway.